This is Bimble. He lives in Stiltsville. Everyone here helps to produce wool. Wool blended with fairy tales, which is sent out to every corner of the world. One day, Bimble acquires a bucket, a magic bucket, which will give him anything he wishes for. This is the guardian of the bucket, Teeny Weeny. Soon others are after it. Dolly Clackhanger for one. Dolly would dearly love to be the village witch, but she's been thrown out of the village because of the noise and mess caused by her experiments. The small one is her assistant, Sploot. Queen Cack, the lazy, greedy ruler of the country, also wishes to possess the bucket and sends her servants, Bilge and Euler, to steal it. But then everything blows up, Stiltsville is left hanging in the air, and Slea City slides into the crater beneath. This morning, Dolly Clackhanger is hard at work attempting to construct a crystal ball, because all proper witches have crystal balls with which they can see into the future, or over long distances. Dolly has not yet managed to get hers to do either. Bilge and Euler, having nothing better to do, have turned their attention to constructing a vehicle. I reckon, Bilge, that that is a pretty impressive bit of motor construction on the old. Very classy, Euler. A very classy vehicle. Yeah, let's see what Dolly thinks of it. No, no, Sploot. Keep back, keep back. But you said... Keep back! There you are, Dolph. We was just wondering what you thought of our new motor. And made by me and him. Ah, so that's the result of all the noise you've been making out here while I've been trying to work, is it? Yep. Yep. It's for travelling about in. It hasn't got any wheels. Oh, pogo sticks are much better than wheels. And it's really easy to drive. Really easy. In that case, Sploot can give us a demonstration. Thanks, Dolly. Complete waste of time, wasn't it? I'm gonna visit Her Majesty. Come along, Sploot. Ready? Yes, Dolly. I was just thinking it might be nice to have something more comfortable to land on. <laughs> it's a pity you didn't think of it sooner. Well, she won't get far in royal circles with manners like that. Meanwhile, in Stiltsville, Bimble is making his usual after-breakfast call on Teeny Weeny. He needs to check that his latest hiding place for the bucket meets with her approval. Teeny Weeny, sleep all right? Yes, thanks, Bimble. Come on in. Can anyone get in the bucket? Of course not. They have to be invited by me. Oh, good. I thought you might like to help me restock. <laughs> 
How do you mean? Lots of the things on my shelves need to be replaced or renewed. And I thought you might like to help me. Oh, yes, fine. Where are we going? To the stockrooms. Are we still in the bucket? Of course we are. But where have all these rooms and corridors and things come from? Bimble, this is a magic bucket. Oh, yes, I suppose it is. Right, transport. Come on. A lorry! Lorries, cars, buses, anything you like. It's huge! Full size, actually. It can't be. We're in a bucket. I told you, Bimble. A magic bucket. I keep forgetting. There we are. This is amazing. What do you fancy next? Me? Oh, well, uh, how about a fire engine? Right. Down in Slee's city, Dolly Clackhanger is ushered into the royal presence. Miss Dolly Clackhanger. Oh, Miss Clackhanger. Now tell me, how did you arrive here so quickly? Your assistant is operating some sort of pipe contraption, Your Majesty, which just happens to come up just outside my house, Chateau Clackhanger. I remember. Unfortunately, not being blessed with such a lithe figure as yourself, Miss Clackhanger, I am unable to use this device. I am sure, however, that Marge will find some other way of conveying me to the surface quite soon. No, 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 not like that, not like that! Do it properly. This ramp has got to be strong. It's got to be well built. It's got to take Her Majesty's weight. <laughs> you what? It's got to take Her Majesty's weight. We shall push her up and out of the crater on it. <laughs> <laughs> you must be joking. Nothing. Nobody can build anything that strong. <laughs> 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 I came to see your majesty because I thought you might like to know about my latest plan to get the bucket. Not really, no. I, I'm sure it will be successful and inventive, or whatever it is. I just thought that if I were to threaten the village, terrorise the villagers, that sort of thing... <laughs> Do whatever you like to them, my dear Miss Clackhanger. <laughs> whatever you like. Hey, you! Whatever your name is! Mudge, Miss Clackhanger. Come and work this machine. I have to get home. I carry on. As long as you realise you're interrupting important work for Her Majesty, I've got a ramp to build here to get her back up to the surface. No easy task, let me tell you. Just stop talking and get a move on, will you? Very well, madam. Ready? Yes, yes, hurry up! I'm getting good at this, though I say so myself. <laughs> Bilge! Oiler! Back in the bucket. Bimble is having a most interesting morning. Is it just boots in here? It is today. But I can get anything I need. Shoes, sandals, clogs, furry slippers, anything. Now what next? Now listen carefully. As soon as it's dark... You two will... And me, and me, Dolly. Let me go too, Dolly. All right, all right. As soon as it's dark, you will go and round up all the village sheep. Everyone. 
And you will bring them back here and you will hide them in the barn. What do we want a load of old sheep for? You can't train them or anything, you know. We don't want them. We're hiding them. We're hiding them from the villagers. They are very important to the villagers. And when they realise that all their precious sheep have gone, they will run about in panic and Bimbo will appear with his bucket to try and help and we will take the bucket. Is that clear? Yes, Dolly! Why hasn't this one got a picture on? Because this is just a big jumble of all sorts of odds and ends. I never know what I'm going to find in here. Oh, look! All sorts of interesting things! They're mostly things that people have never thought of wishing for, and they get sort of dumped in here. You can choose something now if you like and wish for it later. Oh, thanks, Teeny Weeny. I could wish for one of these. What for? Um, uh, uh, uh I don't really know. Perhaps not. You might find some of the more unusual stuff if you look in that corner there. Oh, yes! You're right! Fantastic! Sorry. I'll just choose tomorrow's wish then. Shall I? Yes. Right. There's your tomorrow's wish. I brought several of them so you can see which one you like best. Thanks very much. I'll see you tomorrow then. Good night. Good night. In Chateau Clackhanger, Bilge and Euler have spent the afternoon doing a few repairs. Wonderful things, sheep. They're not. They are. They're not. They are. Why? Well, perhaps they're not. Well, what'd you say it for, Nick? I was just making conversation, wasn't I? We've finished anyway, so you can keep your conversation to yourself. My crystal ball will now appear. Rig new I told you two to repair that. We did, and you've just messed it all up again. Well, it'll have to be done later. It's time you were off to get those sheep. Sploot, get the equipment. <laughs> Don't forget, every last sheep. Yes, Dolly. Yes, Dolly. Yeah, I'm not sure about this night work. What do you mean? Well, it's different conditions, isn't it, from day work? I suppose so. I mean, it could be cold. We've not got our thermals on, have we? It could rain. Anything. You're right. If we was to be required to work nights, we should have been told. Yeah, we should. And I mean, what do we know about sheep? I ask you. Nothing. We don't know nothing about sheep. Excuse me. Excuse me! Bilge! Oila! Nice sheep! Nice sheep! Oh dear. Uh, I don't like this. Uh, you don't happen to know what they eat or anything, do you, Euler? Because they're getting ever so close to me with their teeth. Uh, Euler? Bilge? Uh, what shall I do? Drive them towards us. Go on, go on, nice sheep. What is he doing? Sploot. Come here. They keep following me. We'll lead them to Dolly's then. I told you they was intelligent. You didn't? I did. 
You reckon that following Sploot's a sign of intelligence, do you? Well, it's made the job easy, hasn't it? True. Hey! Help! Help! You got them all, I hope. Of course we have, Doll. But it was a real job, I can tell you. They was running about in all directions. Yeah, and they was attacking us, some of them. And they was really, really fierce. And they... Don't uh... talk rubbish. And go to bed. I want you on watch for that bucket first thing tomorrow. Oh, and go on foot. Those pogo sticks make far too much noise. Uh, Dolly? Excuse me, Dolly? I'm exhausted. All this walking does you no good, you know. Maybe we should get roller skates. That'd be good. Or skis. Skis? Thieves! We've been robbed! Listen. Thieves! Thieves! Everybody! We've been robbed! We've been robbed! They've all gone! All the gates are open! Every one of them's gone! That's my dad! He says all the sheep have been stolen. And the only person who'd want to do that is Dolly Clackhanger. So I think you'd better do something about it, Bimble. Time for my new wish, then. And I'll go and investigate. Right. This group down Lower Lane, this one over into the woods, and the rest of you up over the hill. Come along, off you go, quick as you can. We must have missed him then. He's definitely not in that lot. Oh, he could have overslept. Let's wait for a bit. Thanks, Teeny Weenie. I've always wanted to go on one of these. Just remember, you're supposed to be looking for sheep. Don't worry, I will. Where did he get that from, then? The, the bucket! Well, well, well. Now there's a surprise. I'll, uh, I'll try for a wish then, shall I? Yes! I wish for a new super deluxe motorised pogo stick. My turn! I wish for a new super extra deluxe motorised pogo stick. The bucket! We forgot the bucket! Oh, get it! No, me! 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 I will. Me. 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 Meanwhile, Mudge has perfected a way of shooting himself up the pipe to Chateau Clackhanger, he hopes. One, two, three. Miss Clackhanger, message from Her Majesty. Miss Clackhanger, message from Her Majesty. Naughty thruff and reef, never stay on Dria Una Dria Charlie. Hello. Hello. One of these people never hear when they're wanted. I'm expected to go tramping about in dirty old outhouses, and it's not as if I've got nothing better to do. Work of national importance I'm doing. Help. National importance. Help. Hello. Miss Clackhanger.
Someone's found them already! How annoying! <gasps> My bucket! Hey! Come back! Whoa. Come back! That's my bucket! Give that back! Oil up! There's something funny about these sticks. We're jumping higher and higher! Oh! Oh no! I can't control my neighbor! Help! Help! Did you see that, Teeny Weeny? Their pogo sticks shot them up into the trees and then jumped on, on the road. Of course. They were special pogo sticks. Just like they asked for, but specially adapted by me. Oh, I see. Um, damn it. I've done it! A genuine, fully functioning crystal ball! Oh, you're a genius, Dolly Clackhanger, a genius! Just wait until... His head was covered ear to ear In a pail he somehow stuck it And his plea was clear to me Free me from this bucket I could not foresee What fate had planned for me How could I tell a wishing well Is what this pail would be So I stepped up to show my stuff 